Uh, what's up guys? Uh, in this video we're talking about color grading and color balancing with the DJI Mavic Pro. Now before we get into that I just want to talk real briefly about my settings. I think that's important when I'm talking about color grading and balancing and so you guys know what I'm shooting at. I shoot in 4K at 30 frames a second and I uh, conform it down to 24 frames a second when I'm actually uh, exporting when I do my whole video in 24 frames a second which is you know pretty standard for any, any video um, for the most part. And anyway, so what I'm doing is uh, uh, color balance and color grading. Now, there is a difference between the color balance and color grading. Color balance is setting your white balance, uh, getting the contrast, and getting the saturation right on your footage. And then color grading is providing the emotion and the feel that you want your viewers to, to feel and, and to see when they're watching your video. But first, I want to talk about the settings. So, uh, I shoot in D-Log, which is the flattest picture profile, but I think it's the best for recovering a dynamic range. I used to shoot in D-Cinelike, but I just recently switched uh, maybe a couple months ago to D-Log, and I really like it a lot. I set the sharpness to zero, set the contrast to negative one, and saturation to negative one. Because I like to be able to, in, in my editing software, I use Adobe Premiere Pro, I like to do all that myself. I like to bring in the contrast and bring in the saturation myself so I keep it as flat as possible which D-Log is perfect for that. Now as far as the sharpness goes I keep it at zero and or one if I'm shooting into the sun possibly but never anything lower than that because uh, there's an algorithm with uh, DJI that if you put it between negative three and negative one it applies a noise reduction um, and it really like kind of makes the colors run together and blotchy and I don't really like it. I've seen it on a couple different footages and I've watched some videos on it and seen how, you know, showing that what it does and I don't like it so I, I do not put it in anything less than zero. As far as the contrast saturation, like I said, I keep it at negative one. The answer much it for the settings, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get it on the computer and I'll show you guys uh, how to color balance and color grade. Alright guys, so uh, what I got here is I got a couple of clips that I took in uh, San Diego about a month ago. And I chose four clips and the reason why I did that is because normally when I'm editing videos, I can do uh, several clips uh, at a time when I edit instead of doing each individual clip and color balancing. I'll show you how I do that right here. So if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, this is my workflow, how I do it now. The, the adjustments and everything you can do, you can do in Final Cut Pro or or whatever it is you're using there, you know, whatever software you're using, you can use the same uh, method here. But for uh, Adobe Premiere, what I do is I make an adjustment layer over the top of my clips, just like you would do in Photoshop. So what I do is I make sure that this box down here is clicked over here on the bottom left side. And I go up to File, New, and down to Adjustment Layer. And it'll bring up your width and the height is what you know your uh, your sequence is already set at you know 30 frames a second, which is what all the other things are. For this video, I'm just going to keep it at 30 frames a second. Normally, I'd keep it at, conform it to 24, you know, so when I export, everything's at 24 frames a second. So anyway, so we'll go ahead and I'll click on that and I'll drag it over and drop it over the top of my clips and bring it over. And now we can start editing. So. I'll make sure that adjustment layer is highlighted and over to the top right the first thing I do is I click on the Lumetri colors. Now that brings up your basic correction, your white balance and then your tone, your exposure, your contrast and highlights. Now my exposure uh, is correct so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, what I do also on the top left over here is click the Lumetri scopes to make sure that that is. All that is is your histogram. Just like in Photoshop, you got zero down here and a hundred up here. Zero are your shadows, one hundred are your highlights, and everything in here is all your in between. And this is obviously you can see is mostly midtones. So the first thing that I want to do now, I got my color balance right in camera when I was flying the drone. I don't have my color balance set to auto. I put it to whatever it is you know. I make it look natural in in the camera. Um, I forget what the setting was on this, to be honest with you. But uh, if you don't say, if you keep it on auto and you find it's off, just go ahead and grab this little picker here and click on a white part of the screen. And I see it warmed it up just a little bit there. So that looks still looks good. I like that. So 
Um, so that's where I start with. Now, to con now contrast, what I normally do for adjusting the contrast is I will come down here to the curves layer first. And you can see here you got the, your curves layer like you would in Photoshop or, or Lightroom. And what I do is I watch the three things that I watch, or the two things that I watch are the actual footage itself and then my Lumetri Scopes uh, graph over here. Now I'll grab the shadows. I want to bring the shadows down as close as I can to zero without uh, crushing those shadows. So I'll grab over here on your, uh, on your curve and you start just bringing the shadows down slowly, slowly and get pretty close there. That, that's pretty good right there. I like that a lot. So now I got the shadow. Now I'm going to grab the top here where the highlights are and I'm going to start bringing those up. And that's probably good right about there. And you can see now already we've added a lot of contrast in the footage. I'll go ahead and click on and off. So you can see huge, huge difference. I went from this flat picture here and already we added a lot of contrast, which looks absolutely great. I love that. So now we're going to come back up here and we're going to grab the saturation and we're going to start slowly bringing that up. And about 111, I think, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and click that on and off and show you there. Added some nice blues. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on the screen or not, but it did add some, some nice blues to there. Maybe just a tad bit more up to 118. Now let's click on and off. There we go. I think the other way it looks pretty good. So now you can also do it with these sliders. You don't have to use the, uh, the, the curves. I, that's what I prefer to use and I do the same thing in Photoshop and Lightroom when I'm editing my photos but you can also use these sliders to do the same exact thing just watch your Lumetri scopes and you know you can move your sliders doing the same thing now we've color graded or I'm sorry we've color balanced now I want to color grade this is where I'm adding feeling I'm adding mood I'm adding, you know, a, a look to my to my video that I want the, you know, my viewer to see and feel. So, uh, for example, what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to give you guys that teal and orange look. So what that does is I'm going to take my shadows here and I'm going to bring it towards the teal. And you can see here I'm starting to kind of get down into the shadows with that teal, and then I'm going to grab my midtones and bring it up towards the orange. I'm going to bring that up, so right maybe over there, bring a little bit more into the teal, this way, and that gives my, that gives my video a little bit, you can see click on and off there, see a little bit, gives you that kind of a, a feel of, uh, and maybe grab my highlights here and bring them down into the teals as well, there, see now, now we're getting into more of that, you know, kind of trend, not really trendy, it's a popular look though, and I, and I like it, it's good for, you know, being creative, a nice creative uh, a look and so you can see the difference there now the the easy way to do it guys if you don't like to sit there and color grade and color balance if you know if you're like me and you got pictures to upload and you got all kinds of stuff to do and you want to make it you know do it really quick um, I'll show you here how to do that so we'll go into the creative panel let's close this up we'll go to the creative panel again and if you go up here you got what's called LUTs those are lookup tables uh, and those are pretty much just presets. So you can go and, and Adobe Premiere Pro comes with a lot of these presets here. You can just click on one and you can see what it does, you know, on and off. I mean, I don't, I don't like that one too much, but I'm just going to show you guys here. You go down through and you got to go west and kind of give it a different look, which I kind of like a lot. So you can kind of go through. And now that we've it did it on the adjustment layer, you know, you can, uh, all, all the clips get, adjust it all at once instead of having to do each individual one then you got to match them and do all that so uh, one I do like and there's a lot of free ones online there's some ones you can pay for um, I got these for free and it's actually one of um, Peter McKinnon's LUTs if you go here to where is it at basic correction under the input LUT now I have it saved on a file on my uh, portable hard drive so I can go on there go under browse right here and it brings up, I will go under, I'll find my, there we go, my LUTs here, open them up. And I'll find Peter McKinnon's, which is actually a teal and orange uh, right here. So, and 
open that up boom and I see and I, and I love the way this looks you can tell now the LUTs are the same thing as a preset on Lightroom is it's just a starting point and if you really want to see what the the LUT does and you can do it later on manually if you want to make your own LUTs is you can kind of come in here and see what it did with the white balance you go under creative and it'll see it doesn't really show much here you see your curves it did what your you know something to your curves it created some uh, you know some contrast there and it shows what you did to your shadows here you see what it did? brought the highlights over here more towards the green and yeah, mid tones were pushed up into the orange a little bit and then your shadows down into the teal so that's what Peter McKinnon's LUT did and so I, and I said I like that a lot so We'll go ahead and play it. And sorry, my computer's lagging. Whenever I do the screen recorder, it my computer lags like really bad. And it, but so it's kind of cool. I and mean, you can from here you can make adjustments. You can come into you know your color wheel, and you can if you don't like the shadows being quite so orange or the highlights quite so green, you can you know you can see you can move it just a little bit and maybe bring it more towards teal or make it more green. You know you can you can play with them from here. But I, you know like I said I kind of like the way this one looks. So. All right, guys, that's, that's pretty much it. Just a real quick video on color balancing and color grading. I, I use this with my GoPro footage, my Mavic Pro footage, um, and I will uh, put a link down in there. I'll put my settings down in the uh, description too, but uh, that, that's what I do. I, like I said, it, it works for me. It works really well. I like the way it all looks, and it comes out really sharp, and, and so I hope this uh, helps you guys out a lot too. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.